If you're like me, you have a ton of BMW apps on your phone that enable you to diagnose, to code, and to tune your BMW, which is super convenient. But the problem is, with all of these great apps come all of these adapters. Some are Wi-Fi, some are Bluetooth, some you can only use with a cable, some only work on G-Series, some only work on F-Series, which is super annoying. Until now, introducing the all-new Keys Wi-Fi Enet adapter, an all-in-one solution that works with F-Series BMW, G-Series, I-Series, and even the A90 Supra that allows you to use your favorite apps all wirelessly. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Keys Wi-Fi Enet adapter with Beamer Code, Beamer Link, Boot Mode, MHD, XHP Flash Tool, and Xleaf. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. As we mentioned in today's video, we're going to show you how easy it is to wirelessly use some of your favorite apps using the Keys Wi-Fi Enet adapter. Now, if you take a look down in the description, we have a link to the Keys Wi-Fi adapter in addition to a list of popular apps and timestamps. So if you're here for an app like boot mode, flashing, and data logging, you can just click that and skip ahead in the video. Now, the last thing I want to tell you before we get started is that the Keys Wi-Fi Enet adapter works on Apple. It it works on Android. Say you have a PC that you run Insta on, it even works with a PC. So without further ado, let's show you how to use some of the most popular BMW apps with the Keys Wi-Fi adapter. Now, before we get started with that, I do want to talk about the Keys Wi-Fi adapter, just kind of tell you about what it does. So this is going to replace a traditional Ethernet cable, which you would need to have some kind of Ethernet connection or some kind of adapter to go into your phone. What it's going to do when you plug it in is it's going to create a local Wi-Fi network. So it's going to be very similar to, you know, a Wi-Fi network at your house. However, it's not going to have actual internet access. So what we're going to refer to throughout the video is offline mode and then also online mode. So offline mode is basically when you connect it in, you're going to go into your Wi-Fi settings and you are going to see keys pop up. Now, the first time that you go to connect the keys, you are going to have to enter the password that is conveniently labeled on the back of the unit. You're going to connect two keys. And if you have an iPhone, you're going to have this little I next to it. So if we click that and you scroll down, where it says something about the IP address, you're going to see that it is automatically connected. This is what we're going to call offline mode. So basically that is going to work well with apps that basically store all of the data like Bimmer code and don't need outside access like a boot mode. But we're going to go through each individual app and we're going to show you the best settings to use the app. The first app we're going to get started with is Beamer code. So you're going to leave it connected just like that. Pop over to the app. Again, this is a paid app. Most of these apps are paid. You're going to click this little wheel icon and then over here where it says adapter, you're just going to hit Enet adapter. Now we were recently approved by Beamer Code and Beamer Link, so they're going to add our name here. However, in the time being, I mean, by the time you watch this video, it's probably going to be there. But in the time being, just connect to Enet cable, hit done, hit connect. And as you can see, it's lightning fast. Okay, so as you can see, we're in the F80 M3. You can see BMW 3 Series and M3, and we're going to hit continue. And then this is going to identify all of the ECUs in your car and basically show you what is and is not able to be coded. And although we're demonstrating on an F series right now, we do have a G series we're gonna show you on in a little bit. So let's go over here and let's go to the front electronic module and we're just gonna randomly find something to code. All right, in the front electronic module, I'm gonna scroll down here where it says shut off iDrive system when driver door is open. So basically right now, and I just have it on static because of copyright protection. When you get to your destination, you have your music on, you turn the car off, you open the door, a lot of times your radio is still going to be playing. However, if we select active here, then I'm gonna code this. What's gonna happen is once you get to your destination, you open the door, your music and whatnot is going to shut off. So it's actually a pretty cool feature. I wish I did it a couple years ago. So once this is done coding, which again, is gonna be super fast, I'll show you how cool it is. Okay, coding successful. So let's try that again. Take so in here, we have the static channel. And once I open the door, you can hear that it shuts off. So very cool feature. I don't know why they don't come like that from the factory, but anyway, let's jump into Bimmer Link and we'll talk about diagnostics and exhaust valves. All right, the next app that you're probably going to use is Bimmer Link. And again, this is good for diagnostics and whatnot. I'm already 
connected. So let me disconnect and I'll show you what to do. So again, you're gonna hit the wheel, go over here to ENAT cable or keys, whichever is going to appear for you, and then hit done, hit connect. And just like before, it connects pretty much instantly. So in Bimberlink, this is more of a diagnostic tool. You can register a new battery, you can read and clear your codes. You can even do things like control your exhaust valve. So let's read some codes. Now I do have some codes because we retrofit G82 seats and the car is not super happy about it. So I'll just show you here again, it's, it's super quick and wireless, which makes it super convenient for all these different apps. All right, 10 errors, that's not bad. Now I, do, I don't wanna clear them because I wanna make sure that I address each one, but if you wanted to clear them, all you do is hit that little trash can and the ones that are able to be cleared will go away. Um, another thing we can test, let's test out the exhaust flap. All right, so right now it's on, it's on close. So if I hit open, Again, all through the app wirelessly with the Keys Wi-Fi dongle, amazing. Now, let's jump into the next app you're probably using, Boot Mode. Now, once again, with apps like Bimmer Code and Bimmer Link that store all of the data on your phone, they don't need to connect to outside servers. The offline mode is fine with the automatic configuration. However, when you have apps like Boot Mode, they are actually cloud delivered, so you need to be able to reach out to a server while being connected to the car. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is to set up now. So what you're gonna do, hit this little I next to keys, and then what you need to do is you need to write down the IP address that your phone is automatically assigning, and also the subnet mask. So mine is 192.168.16.104, and then the subnet mask, you don't need the router information. Then we're going to hit manual, so 192.168.16.104. Make sure that you type it in correctly. Double check yourself and then hit save. And then when we go over to boot mode, it's gonna refresh it. Everything is connected just like that. So if I go over here and I go to the dashboard, the second I start it up, Everything is going to be live and good to go. But I wanna show you an example of how quick it is and how easy to flash your car. So I'm gonna go under here to my maps. I'm gonna go down here to my stage one map. I always like to, when I flash, I like to download now and flash later. And then I like to flash it. Just, I feel like it, it stores the data on the phone. So it makes it a little bit easier, especially when you're relying on cell service. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on here. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here to flash and then press here to flash now. Make sure you have your battery connected to a charger. And as you can see, it's going to happen very quickly. Now, if you haven't flash tuned your car before, it's gonna light up like Christmas over here, but don't worry because once this is finished, everything is going to be cleared out. All right, so now it is finishing up. It's gonna restore the coding, clear out some codes, make Christmas on the dash go away. And as you can see, we have success. Turn the car off for five seconds. Start it up. And we are good to go. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk you through how to do MHD. So MHD, you have to do that manual configuration that we did with the IP address and also the subnet mask, just like we did for boot mode. So if you don't know how to do that, just go back to the boot mode portion of this video. We're going to go to flash a map. Let's do stage one. 93 octane, it's going to contact the DME. We're gonna do long right. All right, so we're at 85% of our full flash, 30 seconds to go. Here we go. All right, whoa. And we are good to go. Now with MHD, if you wanted to switch maps, it's a lot faster. So let's just go stage one, 91. Again, just for the purpose of this video. We'll do map right. It is contacting the DME. It is connected instantly, super fast. Okay, now it's flashing the ECU. Look at that, 
20%, so it's 10 seconds left. So in under 30 seconds, you can switch maps from once you do your full flash. The full flash always takes, whether you're using boot mode or MHD, it normally takes like five minutes. Okay, coding the DME, coding successful. Bing, bang, boom. Clearing the codes. Okay, success, wait 30 seconds. And then we can start the car. You can see it flashed in 26 seconds, all wirelessly, again, all from the keys dongle. All right, so we switched over from my F80 to my F3335, and we still have it set up in manual configuration over here for the IP address. And we are going to jump into XHP flash tool. So this car is my 335. So let's see, I'm gonna go in here to settings. And let's see what I want to, let's do throttle blips, just to say we changed something. Um, then I'm gonna go back to flash settings. I'm going to flash, we'll do stage three, hit yes. And then I'm gonna do the latest. And then this is going to go through and it's going to flash the car for us. Now, if you're not familiar, XHP flash tool is uh, mainly for the transmission. It doesn't do anything with engine performance. It just helps the car shift better and, and whatnot. Has a ton of different configurations, launch control, all that kind of stuff. So a lot, a lot of really cool stuff. Okay, so it said that it's gonna take about 11 seconds to flash. So once again, with another app, it's super fast. We actually use this all the time when we're at the drag strip and we wanna mess with launch control or whatnot. Um, so even between runs when you don't have a tremendous amount of time, we've done this on the fly. Okay, success, everything is good with that. Now that we've done that, let's jump over to X-Delete. This is made by the same company as XHP, so it's going to be a very similar process. So once again, connecting as we have been, again, it is still in manual mode where we have outside connectivity. All right, so here under X Delete, we have my 335. I am going to switch it from on to off. So basically this is going to make the car rear wheel drive. We are going to flash it. It's always a good idea whenever you're flashing anything to connect your seatbelt. That helps the computer not to turn off. Okay, right now it's disabling X drive and we have success. So it says, enjoy your new rear wheel drive car. Everything starts up on race gas and no errors. Besides a weird idol. <laughs> there you go. Gotta love ethanol, especially when you haven't started the car in a long time. Now, as we said before, our Keys Wi-Fi adapter works not only in the F series, but it also works in G series. Unfortunately, it does not work in E series. So we have my G80 M3. We're just gonna demonstrate a couple things here. Now, when you're doing coding and whatnot, you wanna hit that start stop button three times really quickly, and it will put you into diagnostic mode. That's the mode you're going to need to be in to be able to use any of these apps. So there you go, diagnostic mode active. Okay, so once again, we're going to go into Wi-Fi, and I am going to set this to automatic. Remember my IP address before was 192.168.16.104. When we flip it to automatic, because this is a different car, it's very possible that it's going to change. So let's go back out, select it again, and then hit that I, and then once this connects, so there you go, you can see it's 192.168.16.107. So that's why you have to make sure if you're switching cars that you, you update that. So we're gonna leave it on automatic because we are going to go into Vimmer code. So same exact thing, hit the wheel. We're gonna leave it on ENET cable. We're gonna hit done. 
we're going to connect and then this is an M3. So we're going to do that. Now, because this is such a new car, there's not really much you can code on it. So you're going to notice that the lists in here are significantly smaller than the other. All right, so let's go into roof function center. And there's one in here called OBD alarm. Basically, if you leave something plugged in like the dongle and you lock your car, it'll set your car alarm off. So where it says OBD alarm, I'm going to set this to not active because it is super annoying when I forget about it. Okay, so writing coding data, finishing coding, restarting ECU, and then that should be good to go. The first time I had the keys dongle plugged into my wife's X7 for flashing boot mode, everything was successful. And we left it, so we flashed the car, we went to Target, we had the car out in the parking lot, and we locked the car, walked away, and within, I don't know, 10 seconds or so, we didn't even make it to the store, the alarm was going off, so I unlocked it and locked it again. And then we were about to walk in the store and the alarm went off again. And I couldn't figure out what the heck was setting the alarm off. I thought someone was like underneath the car or something trying to break in. Um, so that's actually something, I mean, if you live in the UK, whatnot, the whole purpose of that is that a lot of thieves are breaking into these cars via OBD. So it's like, if someone's trying to mess with your OBD, that it'll set the alarm off. Um, but I don't really have that problem here. So we're just gonna disable that. So anyway, that is how easy it is to do that. All right, so now that we know that it works with Bimmerlink, I'm gonna hit that button three times again to get it into diagnostic mode. I need to set this over to manual. So now it's 16.107. So 192.168.16.107.255.255.255.0. And then once you've done it a couple of times, it just, it gets faster and faster. So now I'm going to go into boot mode and at the time of filming of this video, flashing is not available OBD, although I hope it is very soon. Um, for the G80, however, I still got a license so that I can do data logging and whatnot. Um, so anyway, instantly connected OBD. So if I go over here to dashboard, I'm just gonna start the car up. So you can see that I have everything moving right there. So we are, we are getting a live feed. It is far better data logging than any piggyback out there. Um, you can also go in and you can do things like diagnostics. You can read trouble codes. If there are any trouble codes, whatnot, you can clear them out. Um, hopefully, yeah, no, I was gonna say, hopefully this car doesn't have any, there's nothing really that it should have had. And then hopefully very soon we'll be able to get some of these maps and actually be able to flash them to this car. Can't wait for that day. But um, we are trying to just be as ready as we can for when things like that are live that we are ready to rock. So as you just saw, the Keys Wi-Fi ENA adapter is an all-in-one wireless system that works with F-Series. It works with G-Series. If you have an electric car, it works with I-Series and even the A90 Supra. And it will help you code, diagnose, and tune your BMW with ease. I know for me, this is the number one tool in my toolbox right now that I use every single day. And personally, I keep one in every single one of our cars. So if you are interested in one, be sure to see the links in the description. Once again, my name is Brian, that's Zach behind the camera. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.